Uh, Oke, okay. I'm Profesor Dr. Marsigit M.A. Uh, from the Faculty of Mathematics and Science, Yogyakarta State University. In this occasion, I will explain and elaborate about the philosophy of mathematics and the philosophy of mathematics education and its implication to mathematics teaching. In this caption, we can see that the overall of philosophy including philosophy of mathematics and philosophy of mathematics teaching can influence directly toward mathematics teaching and learning in the classroom but really it is not just philosophy of mathematics and philosophy of mathematics education which influence directly, but also there are still another philosophy or another concept and another theory. For example, it's about the philosophy of education itself and the philosophy of uh, the aspect of mathematics education. Uh, if we talk about the philosophy of mathematics it cannot be isolated in a certain place or in a certain time it relates to the history of the finding and the application of mathematics from the time of Pythagoras, Euclides, Immanuel Kant, and even Russell and Hilbert. If we learn to these captions, we then understand that originally the ideas of mathematics and also the ideas of everything starting from the mysticism in Greek in ancient Greek that is there are a myth there are the myths of the aspect of life that just think by the time just to be implemented but sometimes not to be understood so uh, starting from Pythagoras the Pythagoreans try to prove a certain formula uh, in such a way that the people understand why a certain formula in mathematics can appropriate or can be implemented to calculate a certain volume for example or certain areas for example and from that time and then there are tests there are many tests of mathematics and consequently, if we have many tests, we have also many antithesis. Because any ideas in mathematics always to be confronted with uh, different ideas. So that we know at the era of Euclidians, the Euclides find or try to form mathematics by using axiomatic. 
uh, from the time of Euclidians and then continued by uh, the era of modern in the philosophy emerging the two different extremely poles that is rationalism and empiricism rational rationalism believe that every science based on rational or on the way of thinking and empiricism believe that every science based on experience so at that time that is in surrounding uh, the middle ages uh, Immanuel Kant found that there were a big uh, difference between rationalism and empiricism that is that was very difficult to be compromised so at that time then uh, emerging formalism initiating by Hilbert in which Hilbert tried to develop mathematics with a single mathematics consistent, single mathematic and consistent. But uh, the student of Hilbert, that is Goder, uh, immediately found that uh, Hilbert Edward, there is something wrong. Because it is impossible to form one single mathematic without any contradictions. In the following time, then mathematics uh, uh, have two forms, that is absolutism and valipism meeting with constructivism. So, based on this conditions then we can learn it influence directly to the implementation of teaching and learning because in mathematics itself there are two schools that is absolutism or formalism and constructivism or validism uh, in the case of philosophy of mathematic education and also similar in the philosophy of mathematics really there are three components three main components that is the that is the ontology the epistemology and the axiology so if we want to think everything in our mind so we cannot be separated to one each other from ontology epistemology and axiology in the case of ontology of mathematic education there are some problems to be questioned for example about the nature of teacher, the nature of student, the nature of mathematics itself, the nature of school mathematics, the nature of student learn mathematics, the nature of learning resources, the nature of teaching, and the nature of mathematical thinking. Why we need to learn about the nature of something because the people and the mind of people always looking for the answers of everything so 
in the aspect of epistemology of mathematical education, there are the questions about what and how to learn mathematics, and also what theories and epistemologies underlie the teaching of mathematics. What assumption possibly implicit to mathematics teaching approaches rest on? What method, resources, and techniques have been and might be used in the teaching of mathematics? What theories underpin the use of different information and communication technology in teaching mathematics? What mathematic knowledge does the teacher need? What is the basis of mathematical education as a field of knowledge? Can the philosophy of mathematical education have any impact on the practices of teaching and learning of mathematics, on research in mathematical education, or on other disciplines? Yes. Uh, this captions indicated that uh, for everything that life all over the world always in line with the phenomena of hermeneutic hermeneutic mean to translate and to be translated so, if we feel still to be alive, so really there are hermeneutics over there. Uh, every single living, uh, there is a process of interactions between the component of a system of life. For example, in daily activity, we use to interact between one people to other people, between people inside the family, etc. So, if we want to continue our life, then we develop based on the principle of hermeneutic in such a way that finally we can get our life more successful, more meaningful. In the case of the genesis of learning mathematics, Paul Ernest indicated that uh, subject of learning mathematics that is a student can be perceived as have subjective knowledge of mathematics. So a certain student have subjective knowledge of mathematics. So the problem of learning mathematics is that how the student getting objective knowledge of mathematics. That is the importance of social interaction among the components in a system of teaching learning of mathematics. In order to get objective knowledge, the student need to interact with others. To some extent, the student need to public, to, to have a publication in order to get feedback and critique in such a way that the student are able to reformulate about subjective knowledge into the new concept. If the student gets new concept, 
then the student called getting objective knowledge of mathematics. However, how do you know or how do we know that a certain student getting objective knowledge will we need to let the student to represent his objective knowledge in such a way that he or she can reformulate about the new concept of mathematics. So there is a process from objective knowledge to become a subjective knowledge for the student. This is the genesis of learning mathematics according to Paul Ernest. In the case of the theory of knowledge, uh, we can learn from Immanuel Kant. Immanuel Kant teach that every concept or every meaning or every single mathematics ideas can be formed through two ways first from experience and the second from a logical thinking so every people can get mathematic understanding through interaction between his experience and his logical thinking so experience and logical thinking interaction in the dimension of time and space so that by first doing perceptions of a certain object and using his logical thinking that the student or the people get perception and get knowledge and sensation of mathematics there are two kinds of knowledge of mathematics according to Immanuel Kant that is uh, concept and intuition so mathematics can be learned from intuition and mathematics can be learned from forming the concept in such a way that the student get or the student are able to have an ideas and to do judgment in mathematics this is a very simple ideas of Immanuel Kant how Immanuel Kant elaborated about the nature of thinking mathematics if we try to understand about the implementation of education especially for mathematic teaching surrounding the world then in the philosophy of mathematic education again Paul Ernest elaborated that there are at least five social group first industrial trainer second technological pragmatist should old humanist fourth progressive educators and fifth public educators so from these five social group there are different orientation in politics in ideology of education in the perception of mathematics the perception of theory of student the genesis of student the theory of student ability the aim of mathematic education theory of learning theory of teaching resources evaluation 
and the theory of social life. So we can reflect every system of the society. For example, in certain countries, whether a certain countries implement the educational system like one or two or combinations of some of those social system or educational system. So in that book, it was elaborated that, for example, industrial trainer implementing the politic of education as radical right. For technological pragmatic society implemented political education as conservative. And for old humanists implemented conservative liberal, progressive educator implemented liberal and public educator implemented democracy. So, different society implement different the nature of mathematics. We have or we found in this in this captions that there are at least two types of the nature of mathematics. For example, for industrial trainer, technological pragmatist and all humanists, mathematics can be perceived as body of knowledge, science of truth, and structure of truth. But for progressive educators, mathematics is perceived as process of thinking. And for public educators, mathematics is perceived as social activities. And for the genesis of the student, Progressive educators perceive that a student something need as a starting point of education. So education should oriented, should student oriented, and the public educators perceive that the student like a seed need to be developed. But for industrial trainer. Technological pragmatists and old humanists, most of them perceive that the genesis of student is an empty vessel. So, the most crucial one in the mathematics teaching is about uh, theory of teaching. And uh, theory of learning. In the theory of teaching, uh, industrial trainer, technological pragmatist, and old humanists, uh, most of them implement about the theory of transfer of knowledge. But if we try to look at progressive educator and public educator, there are different approaches. For public educators, implement the theory of construction or constructivism, and theory of teaching for public educators most employ on discussion and investigation. In the case of evaluation, for industrial trainer, technological pragmatist, and old humanists implement external tests, while progressive educator and public educator implement portfolio assessment or authentic assessment. So if we look at the problem of mathematics teaching, these captions indicate the difference between traditional way of mathematics teaching and innovative way of mathematics teaching. 
in the traditional way of mathematics teaching here that the teacher perceive to be one and only one resources of learning for the student and mo most of the teacher employ employ um, delivery methods of mathematics teaching but if you look at the constructivist which is can be perceived as innovative teaching the constructivist perceive the student as a seed that need to develop step by step in which the student have to take part in his our learning in such a way that finally the student can produce any concept of mathematics like the tree here produce many foods so in order to implement innovative teaching we need to move from the traditional to innovative and if the student using formal mathematics usually in the class in the teaching learning of mathematics in the class reflect about very traditional way of teaching but if we try to promote constructive learning we need to introduce the new concept of school mathematics uh, what kind of mathematics really that the student can understand from the phenomena of mathematics surrounding our life this caption is about the phenomenal phenomenology of Husserl in which the students try to understand the mathematical phenomena using abstraction and idealization and through his intention then the, the student learns the concept of numbers for example numbers of 13 so let us look at this caption these captions indicate that if we think about number three so there are two kinds of concept philosophically number three can be inside your mind but if we look at number three in the surrounding of our life so the concept or the object of number three can be outside of your mind so here uh, the number three which is lies outside our mind can be have a red color black color or green color or big three small three etc also in geometry for a certain triangle for example in a your mind this is only one triangle but in the outside of your mind there are many similar triangles that possibly have different different color blue color red color green color or black color so for the formal mathematics 3 plus 2 equals 5 is final and no problem to be discussed or to be argued but for school mathematics and for student thinking sometimes the student found that there are some problems for example uh, if the student 
have three books plus two books then how many if the student add three books plus two books uh, does the student get five books or five pencil or what so again usually the object of mathematics outside our minds characterized as concrete while the object of mathematics inside our mind characterized as abstract so this concept is to be implemented in uh, realistic mathematics education so again I have explained and expose about the importance of hermeneutic of learning mathematics so there are three uh, patterns in which the student try to develop reflected in this spiral but the student uh, have routine activities reflected in this spiral for a certain time and a certain places the student possibly try to in-depth study for a certain knowledge to uncover a certain aspect of mathematics uh, so Abut and Strecker 1996 elaborated that the genesis of student learn mathematics as the follows students are willing to learn if they get motivation students learn mathematics by his or her own way students need to cooperate with others in learning mathematics Students need various contexts and different situations to learn mathematics. So, again, in order to innovate our teaching of mathematics, we need to introduce the concept of school mathematics. I put in striker define school mathematics as one. Mathematics is an activity to find pattern and relation. Mathematics is a creativity that needs imagination and intuition. Mathematics is problem solving activities. Mathematics is a tool for communication. This is the aspect of school mathematics that principally I put and striker defined for school mathematics as activity, not as a science. Because mathematics as a science or as a structure or, so, or as a body of knowledge, this is for adult people. But for young students, we need to introduce school mathematics. So, The impact of philosophy of mathematics and philosophy of mathematics uh, education in the implementation of education is that we can uh, reflect our curriculum. So there are many aspects of curriculum to be developed, for example, about the view of knowledge, categorize of code mean adapted teacher's role evaluations or about how to perceive our life so that in this captions we can compare three kind of curriculum in mathematics education that is instrumental curriculum interactive curriculum and individual
dualistic curriculum. So for instrumental curriculums, it's characterized as usually the traditional methods of teaching. And if we try to promote mathematic innovation, mathematic teaching innovations, we need to understand about interactive curriculum and individualistic curriculum. Uh, so, the characters of traditional teaching in the practice can be characterized as separated subject matter, teacher as distributor of knowledge, passive pupil role, teachers have no say in curriculum planning, accent on memory, practice and growth, external reward using extrinsic motivation, teachers give highest priority to academic attainment, regular testing, accent on competition, teaching confined to classroom base, little emphasis on creative expression. So, Cockroft report in the 1982 suggests that in order to innovate mathematic education, suggested that we need to <coughs> implement different methods of teaching. For example, exposition, discussion, practical work, consolidation and practice, problem solving, and investigational work. So that's all my presentations about philosophy of mathematics and the philosophy of mathematics education in the implication of mathematics teaching. Before I end this explanation, once again, I will emphasize that in order to innovate mathematics teaching at school, we need to introduce the concept of school mathematics. School mathematics is defined as activities for the students.